Okay, guys, uh, it's UV Lady Mo here, and I'm going to be playing some Game of Thrones, a game that I just got uh, the first part of it, and I'm going to start playing it with you guys. So, here we go. Gameplay. No, we're not inverted. <laughs> kind of stupid. Alright. Let's go back over here and play. Episode. I don't know how many of you guys have played this or not. Um, maybe if I miss something or if, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what type of game this is. It was uh, free to download on the Xbox. So I figured I'd pick it up and see what it's about. Oh boy, one of those adaptive stories. For thousands of years, House Forrester had been a loyal bannerman to House Stark. And at the screeches of the wolf's wood, they harvest their iron apple. Hmm. Guess you guys don't need me reading to you, too. Sort of looks like a fable. No way. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless okay. this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Now that is a proper sword. That I'll have one like it myself someday. <laughs> you? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, we are just a squire. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had a hand in it, you know. <laughs> hand in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made Guess it out of his tent. How many people are Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> you think he's lying? No one never lets the truth stand in the way of a good story. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. 
And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. Not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. I don't take orders from you. No, but you take orders from him. You idiot, you're his <laughs> squire. Now fetch him some wine. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. And House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. Fetch your cup. Tonight we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North! The, the King, King in the North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods are favored. Onward to Castle Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! The North remembers! Aye! Got it. <laughs> yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be I've more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? To bring honor. To House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, Apparently but as the equal of right. any man who serves House Forrester. <laughs> it's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Begging your pardon, my lord. But it's long overdue. Arrogance doesn't become you, Garrett. Perhaps I misjudge your readiness for this honor. Now go and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Make it up to you. Fine, but you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank <laughs> you. <laughs> Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk. A liar and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing <laughs> is worse than Norin. I like Gowry. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires hey, for life. Even... Just Pulling paint. wine around a fucking <laughs> wedding. What a waste of fucking From time. Girl. Not me. What? 
Tomorrow I ride with Roderick and Lord Forrester. <laughs> Sir Gerard the fucking great. Unbelievable. Maybe if my uncle were castle in, I'd be getting promoted too. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. He's got Lord Forrester's ear, doesn't he? I'm sure it didn't hurt. How much further? Well, it's right over there. Yep. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walder's in a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Uh oh, I think the bit's gonna be the shame. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. wrong just gotten into you you're acting rather odd we need to get back now they're fine they can wait no you don't understand we need to go and take the fucking flagon already what's wrong with him something the matter Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. We have to warn the others. Good luck. <laughs> I tried to save him, but there was nothing I could do. My 
Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? Speak up, boy. I, I didn't leave him. But I couldn't save him. Find a way. I'm alive. Quickly. <laughs> Get the sword, boy. Even though I don't know how to use it. Thank you. Yep. Put a free. You fucking traitor. Go, my lord. While there's still time. Keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase says time to <gasps> Let's go. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> oh no. Guard this with your You're life. Wounded. Return it to Ironrath where it belongs. There's no time. <clears throat> I'll be damned <laughs> if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. Well, the priest, you have to go. You're welcome. To the fucking torch. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. Can, and you will. My lord, By I... the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Now go. On oh, your honor, you must do it. This for your house. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! <laughs> <laughs> Doofus. He even runs like a doofus. <laughs> I got an achievement. Woohoo! Well, I'm going to end the video here since that took forever. And we'll pick back up here the next video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.